Hi, my name is Taylor. And I'm Helena. And today we're going to ask Helena a few questions. So to start off, what is your physical disability? Um, I have cerebral palsy, spastic diplegia, which um, it's one of the four types of cerebral palsy. What are the characteristics of your disability? Um, for me specifically, my leg muscles and my back muscles are extremely tight, so I have to stretch them daily. Um, but other people's cases might affect their face, their arms, any other part of their body. And some of them actually come with cognitive impairments as well. Um, I was a lucky case. I didn't have any real issue except for memory. So that's good. What causes your disability? Um, mine specifically was caused by a seizure I had after I was disconnected from the glucose tube they had connected to my mother. Um, she's diabetic, so they took me to um, the ICU nursery and I had a seizure after that and uh, it caused some brain damage. So, well, now we're going to flip some tables. So, were your teachers helpful in school? Um, mostly, yeah. My elementary teachers didn't really know what to do with my disability, so they were just more so helpful in letting other students know, hey, we have a different student in here, um, you know, be nice to her, don't trip her with her crutches. Um, but they didn't really know exactly how to accommodate me because I lived in a small town. Um, junior high was kind of weird. It depended on what the teacher wanted to do with me, I guess. Um, and then in high school, they gave me five minutes extra time to and from classes, which helped a lot because I didn't have to deal with the stampede. <laughs> um, and they gave me um, alternative PE classes, so I wasn't just sitting around doing nothing. And then in college, um, five extra minutes to and from class as well if I need it. Um, but also they give me my own chair and table so I, I don't have to sit in pain all day, which is nice. What accommodation has worked best for you throughout your years of schooling? Um, the five minutes to and from class really mostly. That's, um, I fall a lot and I would fall a lot in high school and any time, you know. So, if I could beat the stampede and get up, or if I had to walk through the stampeding people, I still had that five extra minutes to stop and like slow myself down and be like, okay, I'm, I'm good, I'm safe, I'm not gonna collapse or anything. So, um, really they didn't have to do any accommodations for me as far as homework went. Um, that I remember. So, um, that that actually helped me the most because having that time to walk in and not have the teachers go tardy and have to walk all the way back to the principal's office and all, all the way back was really good so I wasn't like the random accidental delinquent kid so that was good. That's good. <laughs>